Okay, okay. Going live on the tube. And ladies and gentlemen, we are live. 231. Allow a couple more minutes. I know. Oh, there he is, my guy, Javier. Javier, what's going on, my brother? How y'all doing today? What's going on, man? Thank you, y'all. I appreciate y'all allowing me to pull up. Thank you all so much. You know, you already know. So we <laughs> um I see that there there are people on here and we are live. So we're just gonna get right into it. I hope maybe people live can hear the music because I'm over here jamming. I got some nice um instrumental choruses going, but um I think you got to hit that original sound for musicians, but I always try to play musical every single one of my Zooms. Yeah, like, I'm that's like, the trick. <laughs> yeah, we got to talk about that because I need to find out the trick because I'm like, <laughs> I'm solo Manolo over here. But Javier, thanks for hopping on. Um, you know, this is week six and um, I, I've been wanting to introduce you to Josh. So, you know, this is the network. So we just network live and in action. Um, the purpose of this meeting today is because we're closing out um, week six with a with a bang, right? So it's Monday, we get everybody that's on here hype to really go out there and grow our personal brands and to be able to have a long term brand strategy. So um, Javier, um, meet Josh. Josh, this is Javier, um, new agent handbook. He does a lot of um, agent development, agent equipping. But Javier, go ahead, tell us who you are and what you do. Yeah, thank you so much. And it's a pleasure meeting you, Josh. I've, I've definitely, definitely seen a lot of your uh, content on social media. Love the brand. Love what you do for us realtors out here and make sure that we are getting the, not just the shine, but like the depth of who we are. I know that's one of the, the reasons why, you know, you do what you do is to give us insight, right? The inside of the other side of the table, if you will. I think that was one of your quotes, actually. So I'm pulling from that. Cause I paid attention. So, yes. <laughs> and I love it. And, and we, we need more of this. And this is why for me personally, having this connection, not just helps out with what we do at the new agent handbook, but it helps our industry out. Right. But a lot of folks don't know the challenges that we go through as an industry, as being real estate agents, being realtors, there is a difference. Right. But the professionalism has been dropped off greatly over the last decade. So people like yourself, Justin, just coming in and helping us and giving us an opportunity to understand more of what that brand image is supposed to look like. I just partnered with LifeBrand. It's a social AI cleaning tool. It's really big. So it's, it's a really big company. They have the Sixers as one of their sponsors right now. And they go in and they clean up social media is really fast, but it gives you the opportunity to do it in a more fair housing kind of a way. Because we find that agents often use the word, they you know, the wrong words and the wrong languages, and then they get fined and they never know why. I mean, of course, they know when they get fined why, but they never were told that, hey, you have to take this out or, you know, you can't say master bedroom anymore. Right. It's one of those things. Right. So um, sorry, that wasn't my intro, by the way. I was just excited <laughs> to be here. So, yes, I'm Javier Nichols with the New Agent Handbook. The New Agent Handbook is a national training company, and we uplift and empower real estate agents from that inception to about $5 million in production. We like to focus on that professionalism, getting them acclimated to contracts, understanding how to use tools like RPR, HUD Home Store, just truly understanding the professional aspect of our business, not just about getting money. Because getting money is fun, but... If you don't know how to do it in a professional way, you don't last too long. And we have a uh, high failure rate in our industry. And a lot of it is due to the lack of education. So happy to be here. Great to meet you, hey, bro. Javier, bro, I'm, I'm really glad we connected, bro. And thanks for coming on here real quick. Where can people find you at? And like, what's what when's your next um event, your next Zoom? Because I know you you um were telling me about it, but I would love for, you know, if it's open, you know, open it up, you know, let us yeah. Let let us come through. Let us support. Yeah. Man, man, there's a lot of people on here right now. Like, we kind of deep in this joint. So, you know, yeah. I mean? like, y'all are deep. I love that. So, you guys can find a new agent handbook on Instagram primarily. That's where you can find what we do. Uh, we just evolved uh, and gone into a group coaching uh, scenario. So, we used to have only one on one coaching available. And then 
we filled up. And now we're like, okay, we need to reach more agents. Because again, the information that we provide and the way we provide it, no one else is coming anywhere close to it. And that's partly due to my connection with being on the board of directors for PAR, for BCAR, being the chair of our, our, our um, new member success committee. So I'm really committed. So I have the whole total loop to show you how to make this work. So we, we now are, are accepting or we opened up group coaching, which we're starting out. So every Friday we have a masterclass for two and a half hours on Zoom. But now we're doing our group coaching call around that same time from two to three o'clock. So for those of you who are interested, feel free to go to our Instagram page. Give us a follow. You blow our page up. We blow your page up kind of a deal. We always love blowing up pages for agents and sharing their stories love and just making stuff. sure that you guys you know, have a different way of learning in our industry. And Myra, if you could um, put put his stuff in the chat. If you could just um, get us your stuff, Javier. We'll put it yeah. in. The yeah, I'm um, gonna throw it in right now. Yeah, I Shout you. out! Listen, let's get it. Let's get it. Go, go, show my man some love. Go follow him. <laughs> and, and that's the point of this, right? Like, you know, your network is your net worth, right? Like me and Josh, we we came together. Visibility plus credibility equals profitability, because this has been like my journey. You know, my process. And like, you know, you don't become like a lot of people think you, you, you like social media takes time. It takes work and the credibility could start today. You know what I'm saying? If you want it to, right. We're the future is in our hands, right. We're the, um, ultimately it, it, it's our destiny and our content could be, you know, the make it or break it type of scenario. Right. So Week six, long-term brand strategy. I'm going to be honest. I'm going to tell y'all, my long-term brand strategy is YouTube, right? Because because YouTube is another way to monetize your content, and it's the type of content you create. But um, Javier, thanks for hopping on, showing us some love. Appreciate you, man. Ne next, listen, just stay tuned, because I got to figure out how to get this music on here, because I'm vibing over here. Yeah, all you got to do is hit that original sound for musicians at the top left. And also, oh, I want to leave y'all with this, right? Remember, we all we've all heard the saying, fake it till you make it, right? A lot of people have heard that. And what we've discovered, and we've learned this a couple of different ways. A lot of people are saying it. I don't know if you guys have heard it already, but I'm still under I'm still like not understanding because we understand when you hear it, but I'm still like pushing it and making sure everyone hears this. So take away the fake it till you make it and start acting as if acting as if you're already the top producer, acting as if you already dominate the zip code, acting as if you're already mm -hmm. wherever you want to be. And when you start to act as if your, your, your behaviors, your thinking, your, your connections, everything is going to follow. Cause the fake it till you make it, we always feel cringy when we're like, Oh, I'm gonna fake it till I make it. It's like, well, you, you're not faking it cause you're trying to make it. So act as if, and when you do that, it's, it makes, when someone told me that I was like, damn, that's what it was where you hear you like, I'm a forever. I'm gonna get that tatted on my chest or something. I'm never gonna do that, but it's just one of those moments where you just take it home. So again, thank you guys for letting me put you know pop in, and I'm a I'm gonna hang out for a little while, but I definitely gotta pop out around closer to three. So I'm definitely uh in the building. Javier, we appreciate you. We appreciate you. No doubt. Um, listen, tap in with my guy Javier, right? So we're gonna remove the pen. I want to bring somebody else up real quick. Boom. I kind of like I'm learning how to use Zoom, y'all. Zoom's kind of fire. Drew, what's going on, man? Thanks for tapping in. I really appreciate you hopping on. Um, me and you just hopped on a call on Friday. And um, real quick for anybody, I just wanted to introduce Drew because I feel like we're talking about long-term brand strategy, right? And um, for realtors, Josh, we were talking about last week, right? A bunch of lanes going in the right direction, correct? Right. So you might not be interested now. But the opportunity may arise where you may have a need or you may want to find out more information. And that's why I want to introduce Drew, because he is um, doing something that I'm going to get a part of and learn more about. But that is solar, right? Being able to provide your clients with um, resources to be able to save money on their energy bills. Right. Drew, tell us a little bit about who you are and what you do. All right. Yeah, guys, thank you so much for having me, Justin. I appreciate the shout out. Um, so a little bit about me. Um, I'm from Pennsylvania, originally moved down to Greenville, South Carolina in January. 
Um, I do roofing and remodeling as well. Um, and I'm an, also a national solar broker and team leader with Power. Uh, Power is a cloud-based uh, uh, company where that can offer solar from anywhere in the United States via Zoom to clients. Uh, so it's very attractive in that regard. Um, and we're in 23 states right now and growing. We just got into Puerto Rico at the beginning of the month. Um, so we're the fastest growing solar Puerto company. Is that? <laughs> yeah, we're the, we're, we're the fastest growing solar company in the world because of our platform. If you think of Uber, we're very similar to Uber in that anyone anywhere can tap into Uber to offer ride sharing. Same thing with solar. Anyone anywhere can tap into the platform of power and offer solar too. So it's very attractive to real estate agents, mortgage loan officers, anyone that either has a book of business or is in contact with homeowners all of the time because power um, is a turnkey company. Whereas a real estate agent, you could come in and be a green real estate agent and sell solar to your book of business, to your clients, whomever's interested cool. in it. Um, and, and there's really no liability like there is in your typical standard legacy uh, solar companies. So we have over 7,000 independent contractors now too um, that are kind of pushing the, the green renewable energy uh, sector. And as we know, there's a lot of incentives for going solar right now. Um, so the government is paying people to go solar. Um, so it's, it's a very lucrative industry to get into, and it's a very good cause uh, to be a part of. So I'm, you know, I'm extremely excited to be able to, to partner with, um, with people that are looking to, to expand their business to maybe offer um, another service to their portfolio that they can help, help their clients out with. Um, and that's kind of briefly, you know, I can touch on it more if you want me to, but that's kind of briefly what I do. So Drew, for sure, put your information in the chat because just so just so we can have it and just if anybody wants to, you know, if that ever comes up, like, you know, now got the plug. And um, also we can partner with you and it's called like a referral partnership, right? Where we can send referrals and get paid without having to like pay any money or do anything and get access to anything, correct? Yep. So we have a referral program uh, where we're offering $1,000 to $2,000, depending on system size per referral. Um, right. A second way to get involved would be to become a consultant and you're basically paying $85 a month. If you pass a referral to me and I close it, we'll split it 50-50. Average commission is six to $7,000 per sale. Um, you know, so, so it's definitely another way to make some good money, or you can be the solar real estate agent where, uh, Jeez. if you just learn a little bit, Talk you, about brand strategy, you, you, oh, come you, on. you make, you make the sale Jeez. and you get a hundred percent commission. The last job I sold was in Pennsylvania over zoom. The commission was $8,000. So it's Jeez. very similar, very similar commission. I say that cause this, it's very similar commissions to real estate. Um, there's a lot more inventory because there's 87 million homes in the United States that are still eligible for solar. And there's a lot less competition. There's a lot less consultants out there in the solar industry than there is real estate agents. Drew, my man, listen, listen, that's solar realtor, y'all. I'm going to need some of them commissions, dog. I'm going to send you a couple referrals, my man. But listen, we appreciate you, Drew. Make sure you drop that um, information in the chat, my friends, so that way we can stay in touch with you. And that's why for all of you guys that have been following me, that's why this is a perfect pop situation, right? You know what I mean? Be able to scan and get those uh, leads to come on in. But uh, Drew, thank you, my friend. Um, stay plugged in, stay tapped in. And um, I got somebody, they can't, they can't hide. Ooh, Vendela, what's up in the building? <laughs> Hi, Vendela. Hi, Justin. I could have hidden behind my camera, but showing off my shortcut today. You like it? <laughs> looking great, looking fabulous. She looking like she about to close a million dollar property all day long. Vendela, thanks for stopping by, tapping in. Um. I would love to get some dialogue um, after we jump into this. I just wanted to say hi real quick. I always appreciate um, when you come by, you bring a lot of value, a lot of valuable insight because of your experience with um, being a top producing realtor and team leader here in Pennsylvania. So 
your opinion is always um valued. So we'll um, tap in Vandela and um all right. Thanks for having me. Thank you for having me. Josh, um, my friend. So guys, as you know, I'm here. Uh, for those who don't know me that much, um, Vandela Bonner, licensed at REMAX Affiliates in Pennsylvania, New Jersey, run a mentorship program. Uh, I think I'm up to 15 agents that I'm mentoring now Hello. and just started a real estate team. So I've been in the business for 14 years. It's been a while, over a decade, right? <laughs> so Recently, Vandela, weren't you recognized by REMAX Corporate as one of the top in Pennsylvania, period? I was um, last September, I think. Jesus. Um, and <laughs> I'm still kind of like surprised about that because I don't keep up to date or try to track stats and things of that nature. That was a total surprise for me. I'm humbled by it. And I guess hard work pays off. So I'm just going to continue to do what I do and do the best that I can to help the other agents that are part of it. So can you tell us a little bit about um, your long-term brand strategy? That's the topic for today. That's what Josh is going to touch on today. But I would love to hear your take on like um, the view homes and like your long-term brand strategy. What can you give us? Some gems. So for me, I've always been consistent with social media. Um, there it is. Drop the mic. Drop the mic with social, that, Vandela. <laughs> social media. <laughs> Social media, make sure you reach out to your clients, send them a birthday greeting when it's their birthday. They look forward to that stuff, believe it or not. Um, then I try to get to learn the new ones. So I'm not big on all of the videos and all of the things that people do on TikTok, but I try to engage, um, making sure that I have content going on on my pages, whether it's being posted by me or a system that um, puts it on there. Um, when I do listings, I do uh, I do post them on there for people to see that. Um, I sometimes do walkthrough of the property and I you know, put some videos and things of that nature. But even if it's just like last weekend, I was going through the park, the Fairmont Park, and I saw that there was a, a lot of crowd people and I'm like, what the heck was going on here? Um, it was a cherry blossom festival. So I whipped out my my phone and I did a video and I think over 500 people saw that. So those are some of the things that I do. Um, people are constantly looking at that and I'll continue to do whatever I need to do, learn and grow and be present on social media. Thank you, Vandela. Thank you. Hey, thank we you. We need her to put her information in the chat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you put your information in the chat so we can stay plugged in and if anybody wants to reach out. For and sure. I did want to add in, I did want to add in, I want to echo a little bit what Drew was talking about with the solar panels. One of those, the the we we actually had a guy from Power come to our office, uh, speak about it. And I love the aspect of, because we were, we were going after the part-time agents and we don't call them part-time agents, we call them full-time agents, but a lot of agents do not make, like the average agent, believe it or not, guys, makes between like 20 and like 35,000 a year. OK, and this is very, very, very minimal. Right. And especially if you live in areas where you have high have high, you know, cost for living. So, Drew, I wanted to point just to pinpoint that for those that are watching this and will be watching this on YouTube, that take in uh, take account to how that can work in your business. Right. You pitch him the ball. He hits it over the park. His lights out. Right. It's done. And think about that for absentee owners. And Mandela, I definitely would like to con to connect with you for the RPR certified trainings that I run. For your ages, of course, and for you, if you like. For sure, for sure. I am also an RPR member, and I use it quite often um, as well to do my CMAs. So it's just that I've not done an extensive training on the platform, but I am also, it's very good, very good platform to use. And I tell my clients, I'm not client, my agents too, to, you know, to use it. So awesome. and we, so we, we help team members grow their, their, their team by using our trainings and also to retain them. So that's, that's the angle I'm going at with, 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 you know, with that plug. So thanks for putting your information in the chat. No problem. So Javier, it's almost like you're, you're, you're using content to help train and retain, correct? Yes. That's, that's how we're targeting um, brokerages. We, we target brokerages actively right now and team leaders just for the aspect of growing their team and and retaining their teams right there's a lot of disruptive brokerages out there that come and they take your team members a lot of them have to do with you know monetary but 
some of them have to do with knowledge and how they're training. So what we like to do is, you know, team up. We've, we've done two of them so far this year. And this year has been our launch of working with brokerages, getting their team members acclimated to making phone calls. I mean, we host a role play room every morning, 8.30 to 9.30 on Clubhouse. We have lenders, we have agents, we have brokers. And just understanding the fundamentals of having a conversation is just, you know, Oh, that's good. I don't know that's what's good the word know. for the so, top of the top. It's the, it's, you know what I mean? So, so yeah. you have a you have a room in Clubhouse every day. Yes, yes. We we are the only oh. role play room in Clubhouse every day. I've been role playing in Clubhouse for two years since inception of Clubhouse. We had a big group, but then the group kind of fell off because, as you know, consistency reveals all, right? So that's so right. we we are the only group on Clubhouse that are that that is there every single day. 8 30 to 9 30. We got about 30 people from across the country what? that pull up with us every single day. And we do a role play room on Zoom after our master class every every Friday from 4 30 to 5 30. So you can utilize more of your, as you can see, I talk with my hands, I use my eyebrows, I use facial expressions. 93% of our communication is nonverbal. So the Zoom allows them to enhance that. Because the phones, of course, you you can't really tell a lot, but when you see a person in person door knocking and having appointments, you want to be able to understand how to communicate with more than just your words. No, that's that's really good. That's really good. I'm glad to know that because now I'll pop. Yeah, like if you can, bro, just send me that. Put that link right now. I'm a clubhouser, bro. I'm on. Let's do this. Bro. <laughs> when when COVID when COVID first happened, bro, I. I feel like I owe Clubhouse like so much a piece of like where I'm at because it gave me that like, you know, that networking connection. Right. Like because Clubhouse is nothing but networking with other business owners. Right. Like I closed the deal like a real estate deal from Clubhouse. Like it was crazy. Um, But yeah, Clubhouse kind of not Clubhouse fell off, but you know, some of the different things kind of fell away or whatever, but it's good to know that I'm going to tap in. Okay. You I just put the link. So that's the link to our group on clubhouse and our motto guys is very important, especially in, in sales is assume nothing, verify everything. That's one of the most important. That's what's helped us so far. You're talking brand strategy. That's a brand strategy that challenges our own very existence. Right. And we want you to feel that way because while you challenging, you're going to challenge other aspects of your life. And then it allows you to just to take things a little bit more seriously because everything you hear and see is not exactly what it is. We know this from being in sales in general. Everyone in there is a salesperson by right of what we do. But we also know that there's a lot of bad actors in sales. How do we how do we differentiate this cubic zirconium from the diamond? Either you test it or you put it under pressure and pressure takes time. So testing it is an easy way to do it. You ever seen those diamond testers come out? People get a little nervous. They start sweating. <laughs> you know, that light don't go to green. You got to get up out of here. You know what I'm saying? So this is the same way that we're doing in our business. Man, yo, we got Javier Nichols on. I feel like we in a clubhouse room right now, yo. Hey, y'all all need Let to jump in the Let me reset the room man. real quick. <laughs> but yo, Javier, I'm, I'm, listen, <laughs> I'm going to plug in. I don't know about y'all, but um, seriously, I appreciate you, yo. Just, yo, we in the building, y'all. Yeah. But Josh, go ahead real quick. I, I want to bring something up, right? Because this is, you know, we're talking about long-term brand strategy. I want to, I want to tap in with you, but something happened on Sunday, bro. And it just, this is the reason why I love content creation, right? Um, It was Sunday yesterday. I was, I was at church and I, I was talking to one of my brothers, right? And I was like, I was like, yo, I'm gonna have to send you, um, you know, the series we've been doing. He's like, send it to me. He's like, I'm subscribed, bro. You had the wolf on last week. I said, what? It was something, right? <laughs> oh, man. And it was just crazy because, you know, hearing other people that like, yo, we seeing what you guys are doing. You're, you know, you're talking this, you talk and just how their mind starts to formulate and plans start to get, you know, put in place. So. Listen, man, sheesh, the wolf. Let's tap in, man. What you got for us? Week week six, man, we here. We finally here. We did it. It's but, great to be here, man. Thank you for the opportunity, and congratulations to everybody for showing up today. You could have been anywhere. You could have opted out of this and skipped it, but uh, we want to add some value today, and there's been a lot of value already dropped. I always say you're going to be more productive than me.
learn new things, come across new opportunities, doing stuff like this or going out and networking than you are sitting on your couch. So I commend everybody on, on being here today. I already see a lot of synergies between my platform and what Drew's got going on. We don't represent any solar companies as of today. So I would love to explore that opportunity. Javier, Justin, Mandela, Darcel, you've all tapped into like five C's of long-term branding that I kind of like outlined to help brainstorm this conversation. You know, there was Javier said community, Justin said content, Justin said connection, Vandela spoke on creativity. The one C that I didn't hear yet, which I think is possibly the most important is clarity. Um, you know, before you oh get God. involved with like long-term strategies or dive into social media, um, you know, techniques or follow up and client care. I think it's, you know, clarity. Why, why do you do what you do and, and what's your why? You know, what, what's getting you out of bed? It can't be your long list of things to do. It can't be to be the best real estate agent in the market, to be the best business owner. I don't think that's enough to get you out of bed. There's got to be like a deeper why. So I would encourage everybody to think about that and even chime in if it comes to comes to mind. What gets me out of bed when I hit that snooze button and I don't want to think about the whole list of to do things today. It happened to me this morning. I just started with my memories of like all this, these travels all across the world, Southeast Asia, Mexico, Europe. And it was just like a blur, like 30, 60 second little clips in my head of all these cool memories. Um, I realized that's really my why is to make more memories, to do more travel, to live more life. And it's going to make me get out of bed and do what I got to do. Um, to think long term, to meet micro goals, macro goals, um, break records, whatever I want to do, get 100 clients. Um, I think everybody should be very clear on their why, you know, making money is great, but maybe your why needs to be that five to 10 percent that you donate to your favorite charity that's making a big impact. So it's bigger than yourself, you know, type type of mindset when you're thinking long term, because if your head and your heart isn't in the game, you can't do anything long-term. There is no long-term marketing plan. So I think it all starts with yourself. Would you all agree? 100%, 100%. Yep. Yeah. Sure, for sure. And um, I'll touch base on that a little bit. So when I decided to start the mentorship program at the office, I was asked by the power broker to do it. And, and I didn't know my wife for doing it at the time. But then I realized after setting it up, for it to be reasonable for the agents to be able to take home more for commission, I realized that it's important for me to provide the service to them, help them so that they can help feed their families better. Um, when I started in the business, I was giving away 50% of the rip and I didn't feel good. And then when I shipped to another real estate company, I was giving away 30% 30, 30 and to join a mentorship, I needed to give another 20%, that's 50% again. And at one point it was 56%. So I'm like, wow, interesting. So it, it discouraged me to, to want to be in the business. And as I go through it each day with the mentees that I am now mentoring, I see that it can become discouraging because you know the broker gets one percentage, you gotta pay IRS, mentor gets one, percentage you barely have anything left to go home with with your family so my why for doing it every single day is so that I'm providing value to them and helping them to be able to be comfortable love being in the business and have enough money to take home to their family major key and, and the family you know you might have 15 agents but it's not 15 mouths that you're trying to feed. It's their families too. So now you're now it's not 15 people. It's 45 or 60 people. So it's 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 big picture thinking like that for sure. And that's all trackable information, you know, like and information to make note of and not brag about, but using your marketing. You know, this year we had 15 agents consistently through the year. They're still here. We're looking to, you know, and that's, you know, not 15 people, it's 60 people. Next year, we're bringing on five of the right agents to join our team. So 20 agents we, who have, you know, 80 to 100 mouths to feed. It's all about the family. Like that's that's long-term marketing and branding that it will help you to stand out, you know, against the tens of thousands of other real estate agents, even in the greater Philadelphia real estate uh, scene. So that's that's awesome. And that, that would say a really unique and good why. You know, anybody else have something different or even similar? 
I like what you did, Josh, and opened it up. Like, this is fire, bro. Like, that's that's a good question. I'll save mine for last. Um, yeah, anybody just impromptu, go ahead. Yeah, so I uh, I, I don't have any specific to touch, but I'll give you an, um, something I had to do for myself. Um, so in my office, I had my vision board um, so that, you know, that helps me stay focused, stay motivated. But when I'm out on the couch, I can't see my vision board. So I moved my vision board from my office to my couch and I brought a whiteboard in my office that I write on, you know, and I change it up every so often. But now if I'm sitting on my couch too long, I see the vision board, man, it gets me going. Awesome. Everybody should have a vision board. That's, a great, that's a great placement. That's a great placement. I got to jump off. I got a meeting at three that I'm late for. However, I wanted to let you guys know that. And I love this conversation, by the way. The why for us personally comes from raising that professional standard in our industry. For me, I see things from a 30,000 foot view, as y'all already know, I'm down in Har- you know, I'm down in Harrisburg. And for, for those who really love the 1031 exchange, uh, we were a part of that initial team that went into the Capitol to speak to our legislators so they can ratify 1031 exchange to be acknowledged in the state of Pennsylvania. It was always acknowledged in the federal level, but at the state level, it was never acknowledged until last year. So actually for to this year, beginning of this year. So again, when for us is that raising that level of professional standard in the industry as a whole, and that's a brand agnostic type of a move. And it's a long journey, but it's definitely someone has to do it. And I'm glad that I'm, I'm a part of this amazing crew that truly give a lot. You know, I see each and every one of you, Drew, I just met you, but I can't wait to learn more. But and Mandela, we got to connect. But seeing you guys, Josh and Justin out here all the time, pushing forward and pushing us real estate agents out and allowing us opportunity. I can't wait. We got to do some more together because, again, Absolutely. not only are we are we valuable to the industry in our own right, but together is definitely going to allow us to reach more folks. And again, it, it just echoes everything that we just said. So I am very grateful for the opportunity. I thank you guys very much. And Drew, please uh, connect with me. I would love to learn more. Uh, I know I know a lot about what your company does, but I want to learn more how me and you can work together. And Mandel, I'm going to reach out to you as well to see how I can add value. Thank you guys all very much. Thanks, brother. I appreciate you, man. Yo, listen, we networking in real time. Man, like that's that's how you know, Josh, that we're we're doing what we need to do and we are successful with what we are doing, the initiative we set before us, because in real life connections are happening. Um, you know, people are aligning, you know, and, and like I always say, your vibe attracts your tribe. And that's why, like a lot of people, like when you get down to the values, it's like, you know, no, like I I have content out for a reason because it's going to repel the the people it's supposed to, right? Like, don't bring that nonsense over here. You know, we got things to do. We got people to see. We got events to, to, you know, pull up on. We got events to promote. We got people to promote. Like, we got problems to solve. There's absolutely no problems over here. You know what I mean? So keep that mess over there, y'all. Um, because this is the network and this is what we do in real time. We, we, we network, right? I don't know why I went all nitty gritty and raw, but, um, yeah. Anybody else? <laughs> Anybody else's why? Vendela put the camera off. It looked like she about to say something. You're on mute. I oh, know. I'm sorry. I had to. I had a three o'clock phone call that I needed to make. So I took myself off for a bit and just made that call, but I didn't hear anything for the last four minutes. So. Oh, so we were talking about our whys. Um, Josh dropped the, the C's, right? Clarity, content, connection, creativity, and community. She gave gave us her why. What's your why, Justin? (laughs) Oh man, man. (laughs) Yo, check this out, right? Let's show you all this, right? I just bought a piano, right? Um, what does that have to do with this? Because my why, my why is really, my why is to be able to use my experiences, the things that I've went through um, to be able to help other people out. A lot like with what Javier was saying to, you know, ju- just to educate, equip and, and help. And I, I I love music and I feel like it's a new challenge, but I want to teach myself the piano because I feel like that's just another way to help people. 
because you know it's it's a beautiful opportunity um nice. yeah my why is to honestly um impact you know either major major income or major impact you know but I, but i feel like it all starts with the impact that's awesome you're a creative dude you need a lot of creative outlets it can't be all real estate it's important it's good I'm exactly creative right so me taking that call was also creativity because y'all didn't know what i was doing but i just got a client nice Woo! nice <laughs> creativity Bro, that's what i'm talking about that's what i'm talking about was there anything special about that client like that you did or you know any way that you met him was it like so that was a homes that come lead Earlier, I'd seen it come through. And when I called, she was at the doctor's with Nat speak. And she said, call me at three o'clock. So I scheduled it and spoke to her briefly. And now we're going to do a full consultation where I go through the process um, with her. So it only took four minutes to do that. And there's another party who's going to be joining her on the deal. So I asked for her information. And so when I get that, I scheduled a buyer consultation. And then I may do it on Google Meet or Zoom and then just go through the steps that I usually take and have them pick me um, as a realtor in the meeting. And if they're looking for financing, then I can connect them with different people like lenders, you know, for them to choose from. So that's how I pretty much do that. Maybe, maybe Vendela too, what we can do is, um, you know, we have, you know, we've had conversations offline and um, I think we just need to reconnect because maybe that's what we can do. Like in regards to like, where I'm going, right? Like, I know I got to get my wife right in regards to like, you know, just whatever information she needs, you know, wherever she's at, but you know, it, it all starts here, right? Right. So maybe we could do like some type of, you know, something similar like this, but, um, you know, and you could just do like wh whatever you wanted to do, you know what I'm saying? But like some type of collaborative thing. No. For sure, for sure. And you know that she can also, she can always reach out regarding the mentorship program. Um, their cell, you can touch base a little bit if you don't mind. Share your experience um, a little bit as, as Please, you know, Darcel, you're, please. you're um, enjoying the program if you are. And, you know, just give them a little insight on it since you're the, one of the mentees. Mandela, I'm cracking up. You said, let them know if I'm enjoying it. If I am, <laughs> what if I was like, no, I hate it. But no, um, I adore Vendela. Um, I, I signed on, I feel like in December, but, um, due to like family issues, I didn't get a, I had a later start. So I really kind of just started back, I would say in March, but even prior to starting, like I was, um, transparent with Vendela. She was transparent with me. I let her know what I was capable of doing time-wise, um, because of the family things I had going on. And she just accommodated me so much in that way. Like, um, Whenever I was available, she made time available for herself to sit with me for like hours. And in my mind, I'm like, ooh, like I feel like I'm taking up so much of her time, but she was willingly giving it to me and I just was absorbing it, taking notes. Um, so fast forward now to March and April, I do have clients and it's just unfortunate right now. Like um, some of my buyer clients, they might put a, a bid in for something and they get outbid it. So they haven't been able to get anything, but whenever I have a question throughout any of the processes, literally I call Vendela. She answers right away. If she doesn't, she texts me right away. And then I could text her back if she's like on a current call. So I get responses so quick that I feel like you're spoiling me, Vendela. So I know you're getting more mentees, but I'm going to have to stop that. Okay. Uh, I feel spoiled. <laughs> so it's really good to know that I have Vendela. I also have another cousin who's a realtor as well, who helps me out a lot. So between those two, I feel like very supported through Remax. And I, I talked to a lot of people who tried real estate before in the past and their biggest issue was not having anybody to call. So I really can't say that's not my issue. I, I have to just get better with utilizing Vendela, getting my clients because I do have the resources to excel. So yeah, I, I truly do um, enjoy the mentorship program. It's been super helpful. There you go, Justin. So you have the you have the tip for your wife to come on board. <laughs> but no, that was real smooth. But that's why we on here, baby. That was real good. We just set her up, Ali. You swoop, bang. Oh, yeah, Got Justin. Because I did talk to your wife uh, in regards to that. I was like, "Are you joining Vendela's mentorship?" And she 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 was like, "Oh, I'm thinking about it." You know. So I, I already spoke to her about it. But if 
she needed more convincing. She could just call me. <laughs> she's trying to hide, but you know, she's here. Uh, Cynthia, she'll be fine. Hey, Sometimes yeah. they have to be ready. They have to be ready. And by the way, even not joining the mentorship, she want to call me and I've, I have questions. I'll answer. I already told her that when I saw last week, reach out to me. Okay. And that, and that's the thing, right? Is like in real estate, it's like, it's so complex and it's just so new because there's layers of like information and just, and our minds go to all the other things that aren't important that, you know, don't make us money, but like, you know, I'm glad that I kind of get to go through the process again with her because it really is going to help me refine the content creation. You know, like what content are we going to be creating? Um, because that's the evergreen content that lives on. You know what I'm saying? Is the content that's actually helping people, um, educating them, walking them through a problem. Um, so, yeah. yeah. Darcel, what's your why? Going on your background, Justin. Check your windows. You might have something open playing. Anybody else hears this? Yeah. yeah. I'll tell you what, communication and responsiveness go a long way in our industries. I can I can speak to that. Yeah, Drew, agree for sure. Because yeah. when you're trying to close a deal or get something done and people aren't getting back to you, it's very frustrating. And I'm experiencing mm -hmm. that as well, which Vandela already warned me about. So it's frustrating, but it's really nothing we could do about how other people conduct their business. You just kind of have to keep pushing forward for your clients. With them. Yo, can you hear me all right? Yep. Yeah. All right. High side six leads or nice, nice. Uh, Listen, uh, Josh, that's I really like those C's that you dropped, yeah. and that's 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 a message in itself. But um, do you have any like um final remarks in in regards to um long term brand strategy? I think the word like long term scares people off sometimes or they're thinking like, what's the end goal? What's the end all be all? And it gets overwhelming trying to get there. So I think there's a lot of short term goals and milestones that'll get you to the long term branding and the household name in your respective industries. Um, and it all you know starts with goal setting, you know, making micro goals that you're you're um, lining up and knocking down. Think about I know Vendela doesn't two thousand dollars, twenty five thousand bucks, and they're back. There you go. That's good. I, don't, I know, like Vendela mentioned, not really paying attention to like her production, just putting her head down and doing the work. I think it's good to reflect and see, you know, how many families did you help this year? You know, whether it be five, ten, fifteen, twenty, fifth, whatever it is, and then making it a goal to help just a little bit more next year. So if it was, you know, 25 families this year, we're going to help 35 families next year. And, you know, the work that goes into upping your production and helping more families, it goes into your long-term branding strategy because it's not just enough to do a good job. Like you're supposed to do a good job. You're supposed to, you know, cross your T's and dot your I's and get people to the closing table and be a good real estate agent. But the marketing that leads up to those things is an everyday type of thing. You're really just like leveraging the people that you have helped and you're currently helped to tap into their networks and continue to grow off your base. You know, everybody has a base. If they were to take out their cell phone and open their contacts and scroll all the way to the bottom, it says how many contacts you have. That's your network right there. And don't forget the power of, you know, what's in your pocket and how many people are right there. And you have so many opportunities to just check in with people, care, be compassionate, don't ask for anything and just say, you know, you popped into my head, just check it in. How's every little thing? Let me know if there's anything I could help you with today. And, you know, chances are they're, they're going to be super grateful that you just, you know, checked in on them and thought of them and you weren't, didn't ask for anything. You actually asked how you could help them. And if you do that every single day, you get a reputation for caring about your, um, your clients or your networks and you treat them like friends and family. That's going to extend to their friends and family, which is ultimately helping you get to your long-term goals. And that's marketing, you know. Um, just staying consistent, building on your target audience, know who your target audience is, double down and focus on those people. Don't waste your time um, on people that aren't going to help you get to your end goals. You know, focus on 
you know, loving on the people that are sending you business and, you know, putting them on a pedestal, your top referral partners, your active referral partners, um, taking care of them is only going to help you, you know, reach your goals. You can never stop. You always got to stay ambitious. You never want to get complacent. You never want to take your foot off the, the gas pedal. Even if you make a big sale, uh, that's the best time to make another sale, you know, so Day after day, one foot in front of the other. That's how you get anywhere long term, in my opinion. And, you know, I say it sometimes, as long as you don't take any steps backwards today, it's a good day. Ideally, you take a couple little steps forward at least. But as long as you're not going backwards, you're eventually going to get somewhere. Um, I think long term marketing, you think about at the end of the year, what worked this year. Take some time. Take a couple nights in a cabin in the woods if you and just really like reflect on your whole year, look at your whole calendar, scroll back on your whole entire calendar, identify those events that made a difference or what you did that made a difference, put it on the calendar for next year, make it better, and you know, add add some more. Just client appreciation events for the end of the year. They don't all have to be closed clients they could be in the process or they could just be allies and supporters of you that you invite out and you build on that you know I just, we just did a story um on a real estate agent out of uh, bucks county uh mary ellen ryan who does a you know popcorn movie theater night for her clients every year they she buys out the movie theater has her clients out they network before and after just a fun night so i would encourage everybody to think about events you know i'm an events guy so i think that's a big part of long term uh, marketing strategies, even if they're, you know, annually, if they're quarterly, great, you know, the more, the more, the better, just another way, way to stay relevant and separate yourself from the competition. We all have a lot of competition out there. Watch your competition, see what they're doing right. Most importantly, see what they're doing wrong, avoid doing those things and use your head, you know, just use your head and back to the seas of, you know, creativity. You got to get creative in, in your marketing, you got to get creative these days on how you get the deal to the table um, and make it as, as stress-free as possible. The purpose of real producers, you know, is to connect, elevate, and inspire real estate agents and their favorite affiliates to, you know, do better, to have fun, to um, engage and collaborate and cooperate and ultimately do more business. So you don't need to necessarily like lay all your cards out on the table and give everybody every secret that makes you successful but the more you are open to those conversations and helping people like Mandela does the more it's going to reflect positively on you and you're going to become an expert in your field I think that's a really important thing about long-term branding is to stay informed be an expert um, know your neighborhoods, know the architecture, know the history, know the streets, know the businesses, know the people, and just dig deep where you're at. Because, you know, we don't need a whole national reach necessarily to be successful in greater Philadelphia real estate. Um, stuff like that. <laughs> yeah, for sure. That was a lot. That was a lot. Like, you're yes. so on point, you're no, so was... on point, man. So I, I want to say this. So, a million dollars worth of game, talking... bro. Talking about what you do is so critical. So Josh remembered that I did acting when he and I first sat down for the Rising Star Award uh, in, the, in his magazine. And he remembered precisely that I'm an actress and he connected me to a big deal. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say about that. And guess who I was on the phone with today, Josh? Big deal. Very, very good. <laughs> big deal. So just, yeah, talk about your stuff, guys. I, I tell my, my mentees, wear what you do on your forehead. Everywhere you go, talk about being a realtor. Like, you cannot just not talk about it. You have to. So I'm, I'm going to leave it there for today. I'm so glad you guys had it, and I was invited again. So, yeah, good stuff. Sheesh, Josh. Yo, you just dropped the bang on this, bro. This was good. This was really good. And that's awesome. You connected Vandela. Vandela, you got another movie role? What's going on? Come on. What's we up? We haven't you nothing yet. We're going to keep it our little <laughs> secret until... <laughs> that is lying, right? If you don't sign on the contract, nothing happened, right? <laughs> so let's keep that one Listen, in the wrap. Things are bit. in motion, baby. Yep. Oh, man. So, Josh, I've been, I've been getting the question, too. Like, um, 
you know, is this, is this every week? Like, you know, cause we did this with the six weeks. Um, but I, I definitely think we should come back next week and, um, you know, may, maybe be more specific. Maybe should we ask what people want? You know what I mean? Like, but maybe just keep it this format because it seems like people are really finding value and getting something out of it. And I, I, I like when it, we open it up too, and it gives people an opportunity to voice their opinion, you know, whatever they think, because in today's like day and age, I feel like, you know, everybody's just so selfish where it's like your opinion doesn't matter. Right. But here, you know, in this setting and context, it's like, it's valuable to hear others opinion, their take on how they do things, their process, their procedures. So, and like Vendela, a lot with what you were talking about, like you're a successful real estate agent team leader, but you kind of like, you know, are so willing to just give the way you do things, you know? And it's like, as a new real estate agent, we need to be able to, to, um, learn how to connect with people like you, you know what I mean? Because you have so much value within the way you do things, but it's almost like you do them the same way every time. Right. You know, you just, sure. that's, that's how you do it. So, For sure. And it's, it's a charity giving too. the way I look at it. I mean, I don't have to give money to someone for them to feel like I care about them. If I can give away some of that knowledge, that's my charity done for the day. So that's yeah. kind of, literally how I look at it sometimes. So that's why I say, you know, I'm open to sharing. Um, obviously, if I got to get into the crux of hours, then obviously, you know, time is valuable, taken away from other uh, people that need my my support. So yeah, you have to pay at that point. But obviously, I'm, I'm always open to sharing um, the information. Listen, man, tab in, we out here. Man, week six, uh, long-term brand strategy. Josh just dropped a bomb on us. So if you're watching, just wait for the replay, man, because because I got to break that down. So today was awesome. I really appreciate everybody for hopping on. Drew, thank you so much for um, you know accepting the invitation, coming and sharing about your business, your endeavors, what you're doing. It seemed like there was a good response as well as um, we definitely connected with Javier. That's, you know, and that's just like what me and Josh have been talking about, right? Like when you have other people like that on social media, it's so much easier to connect with, you know what I mean? Cause it's like, yo, I'm doing this boom. And it's like, all right, I'm there. Bang. So I know I'm going to be tapping in with him. Um, but yeah, if you're already in here, then you should know that like, I'll, I'll reach out to you guys next week, get you guys the zoom link. I'll put it on your calendar. Most likely. But um, let's stay connected, let's stay activated, let's stay networking. And, you know, I challenge you, bring somebody here next week, you know, so we can meet them um, if you think they have some value. So, um, Josh, any closing remarks? I might need a bye week next week. I got a 250-person awards gala that's going to have me tied up, but I can catch you guys next week if that's cool. Um, give me, um, give me a, a week, I'll be right back. Listen, no doubt, my friend, you were faithful to the six, so I ain't even mad at you, bro. <laughs> I was surprised you got him for this long. You know, the world's <laughs> not time to sit around for nobody, okay? So <laughs> you're cut I your diamond, though. Thank you. It's a valuable exercise, you know, having to think about this stuff and speak on it and hear what everybody else has to say. Iron sharpens iron. So, you know, I'm all, I'm all about it, you know, and, and always meeting new people. Um, so happy to happy to participate. And um, thanks again for, for having me. And thanks, everybody, for showing up. I'll make sure I put my Instagram in the chat if anybody needs it. Yeah, and then and then we'll make sure, too, like, I'm going to go back and make sure I revise, like, all of our six weeks that, like, all of our contact information is in there. And that way, you know, everything's pointing to the right direction. But, Josh, seriously, I couldn't thank you enough. Um you know, but this is like, this is the concept. This is the idea, right? Is like you, you collaborate with others, you optimize their time, you know, you make it a valuable situation, you know, have a genuine self-interest and look at the potential opportunities that are going to skyrocket out of that. And me and you, my friend, we have built six weeks of intellectual property and, you know, content that we offered for free, but moving forward value like this 
And that's why it's like I love the Monday format, like always going to have a place to give value for free. But, mm-hmm. you know, some of this stuff I know me and you have been talking about it. And like you have the Wolf of Broad Street playbook and that really dives into things. Um, I got the content repurposing. I'm going to start teaching more about. So it's like stay tapped in because if you got value out of something for free, how much more value will you get out of something that you have to pay for? So, you know, thank you, Josh, my friend. And you were faithful to the six weeks, man. So, but, um, I can't wait for the awards derby coming up on the fourth. I know that's going to be a time to, to connect with other professionals from Bucks County um, do you have any other updates and announcements of things going on where we could tap in? Yeah, June 15th. Um, is it 15th or 13th? 13th. June 13th. Um, Billy Penn Studios, Janice Benstock Real Estate Academy. Um, how to elevate your career with real estate. It's a unique event aimed at prospective real estate agents and new real estate agents. There's going to be a panel of um, agents that have been through Janice Benstock Real Estate Academy are now top producers featured in Philadelphia Real Producers Magazine and how they got to where they are um, and encouraging others to explore a career in real estate. Um, got a notion over competition, a whole panel of top Bucks County real estate agents from different brokerages. Um, I'm sorry, it's, yeah, Bucks County is the, Bucks the, 15th, the 13th. 13th and yes. Philly's the 15th. I'll get you guys the information that, that week of June. Um, and yeah, a bunch of other cool stuff. Fourth annual golf outing at the Philmont Country Club coming up October uh, and uh, a lot more. So Tap all the way in, y'all. Tap all the way in. Let's see, y'all. Week six, visibility plus credibility equals profitability. And we actually had some of the most profitable brands in real estate hop on this joint. View Homes team, Vendela Bonner, thank you for showing up, showing out. Um, Yeah, listen, y'all. We getting it. We out here networking. And we will, if, if you're watching this, like, we appreciate you. Keep grinding, keep shining because people are watching. Um, we had somebody tap in and they was like, oh, what? You had the wolf on. And it's like, you know, people are getting to know our stage names, our brands. So, you know, it's dope. It's dope to see it in real life, like people getting busy, getting activated. And if you guys need anything, reach out to me or Josh personally. We're always here for you guys. And that's the point of this is to just get connected, to get educated, equipped, and, you know, for us to all grow our brands and to be able to have things like this so we can show up and support one another. But um, week six, y'all, with a bang, with a boom. Josh, thank you, my friend. Pleasure. That's thank it. You. We're out.